Om dear everyone. So today we're going to look at this Mob Light 7 HD0. This is a 75mm tiny whoop and I really love the way it flies. But what we're going to really focus on is actually these connectors. This is the PH2.0 connectors that usually come standard with any tiny whoops. Of course, there are those that comes with the BT2.0. Most of them generally comes with these PH2.0 connectors. Lately I got myself a bunch of these. These are the GNB 660mm LiPos with the A30 connector. So this A30 connector has been around for a while but I haven't been seeing many videos on it so I thought why not just do one. So I hope you guys um, join me on this one and uh, let's jump in and take a look. Right, first up, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the PH2.0 connectors with these A31s. And of course, I have to trim the wires to make it slightly shorter. The reason for changing to the A30 connector is because the PH2.0 connector has got high resistance, which leads to the voltage stack as compared to the A30 connectors, which got lower resistance and doesn't sag as much. If you're interested to know more about the data of these different connectors, do check out Oscar Liang's website in the links in the description box down below. All right, if you do not know how to solder, I do highly recommend that you learn how because soldering is part and parcel of the FPV drones hobby and eventually you will need to learn how to solder. So what we're going to do is we're going to just replace the PH2.0 connectors with the A31. So it's just a quick solder on and solder off or solder off or solder on, whichever applies. Once that is done, we're going to put the tiny whoop back together again. So here I have the tiny whoop all set up and uh, do note that I actually had the frame mounted sideways so that the LiPo will be sitting horizontally instead of vertically. And this is because uh, majority of the time when I crash, it kind of damages the LiPo or not, it will actually eject the LiPo. I found that by putting it this way, it is less likely to come off. All right, so let's take it to the field. Okay, so the A30 connector has been all wired up onto the Mob Light 7 HD0. And uh, I'm gonna take a look at how well she flies and I'm gonna add the OSDs as well. If I don't have the OSDs, then probably something went wrong somewhere. But yeah, hopefully everything goes nice. And um, hope you enjoy this video.
Okay, so despite the uh, sun, it's raining. Of course it had to rain. Well, every time I do a video, it either rains or something or something, everything else. Always oh, something happening. So um, back to the Mop Light Seven HD Zero. So with the A30 connector, it's uh, there's a slight difference in its flight characteristics. It's like when when I'm uh, holding on to the throttle, I don't feel um, that there is um, sudden sag in the voltage, or I don't feel that you know it it suddenly lose power, especially when you're holding on to the throttle. I really like the way this feels so I'm probably gonna stick to this one for a while so um, as mentioned um, links on the description box down below on Oscar Liang and his test comparison on the uh, different types of connectors for tiny whoops so I'm sorry that it had to be a short video but I hope you enjoyed it and till the next one thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon ciao